Howdy, partners! So we are ready for changing our text and contents of the Bootstrap template. Uh, we did split it between base and index, so it works as it's supposed to work in Django. And now we can replace some text. So two things. One, if you know HTML and especially if you know Bootstrap templates, you can skip it. But the second thing is I'm going to make a couple of points here and there. So you might want to stick around. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible and just maybe just mention a couple of things that you might want to be aware if you want to continue. So maybe just stick around, even if you know HTML and Bootstrap, uh, just to know uh, where we are going with this. OK, so let's start from the beginning um, to change our title here. We just go to our base and look for title. Here it is. And let's put there Marex um, portfolio. So that should be uh, changed. Yep. Yeah, so mark portfolio. And then we can change this. So we scroll down to body and look for nav. Obviously, that's still in base HTML. And our nav bar is here. And we're looking for start bootstrap. And by the way, you can see here that this is all caps. And this is not all caps. And you might be confused, but it's just because some of these classes are the styling for those classes, or maybe this tag inside of a container or whatever. Uh, makes this all caps. So just because you see in your code, not all caps, and you see this all caps, doesn't mean it's not the same text. So and we can try it by changing it Marex portfolio. And I just put something very simple here, you can put whatever you want. Marex portfolio was changed. Okay. And uh, one point here I want to make is that we need to come up with something uh, a bit more creative for our navigation because for now it works because it's just one page so we're just scrolling around but we will need to come up with some if statements that will know that if we're on this on on this index page then okay go with this kind of scrolling um behavior because as you as you okay so let's let's start from the beginning we have those three buttons here and what they do is they have an anchor tag which is like a link that is pointing to different IDs. This number sign, this hashtag here, means that it's gonna look for an ID around the page and just scroll down using this JS scroll trigger. It's gonna nicely scroll down to that point, okay? To the top of it. So if we look in index for our portfolio, so portfolio is here and ID is portfolio indeed. So it's gonna find it if we use this and this together. But imagine we're we're replacing we're not using this index, we built another page that doesn't have any of, of this content and we click on one of those mm, buttons and it's not going to find it and it's not going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something creative there and we're going to come up with some if statement that checks where we are and depending on what page we are on, uh, the behavior of those buttons will change. But for now, we'll, uh, we'll leave it as it is. If you want to change the text, you can change it here. But let's scroll down. What, what else can we change in here? So if you want to change your uh, footer with your information here, you just go and look for footer. So as you can see in base, we have content here. So all the content in between navbar and footer for page for kind of components here are generated using those this block and they're being injected with this uh, index HTML. So at the very end, we have a footer. And so if you want to change some stuff in here, you can change, you can change it here. So if you want to change the address, um, I'm going to just write, say, um, County meet Ireland, Ireland. That's where I live now. Um, then around the web, we can leave this for now. And then some, um, description here, so I suppose about me. And I don't know, let's, let's leave this link. As I mentioned, a tag is a link basically. So we can just, if you replace this with something else like uh, google.ie and you see, yeah, um, you can see it's, it's highlighted and it means that PyCharm can't find this package. I can't find google.ie. So it doesn't know that I'm actually, uh, I mean, HTTPS, oops, HTTPS. Google.ie. Now it doesn't have a problem with it because it knows it's somewhere on the web. And here I can say that, hey, have you seen this us uh, page? Check me out. Okay, just so you can see. Oh, Sierra. Just to see if it works. Uh oh. 
command R and yeah, check me out. And wow, Google. Um, by the way, if you're using um, a tag, you might want to do something like this sometimes. So if you don't want the page to change like here, so we are on your website and here, hey, check this link, but you don't want to leave your page. You just want uh, another tab to be open. For now, it doesn't do that because the target is not set. We need to change this target to blank with the underscore in front. So now refresh, click, and you get it in the new tab. It's useful sometimes. Okay, and then at the very bottom here, you can change, I don't know, super duper Marex company 2020. And this 2020 will be changed as well to something more programmatic. We can put a context in here and say, hey, every year, check what the year, what, what is the current year and just put it in there. So instead of changing it every year, you can just do it uh, automatically. Okay, the rest is just some JavaScript and just JavaScript. Usually you can find JavaScript at the very bottom of the page because you want the page to be loaded first and then let the JavaScript to analyze your, your web page and maybe do some, some magic there. And if we are talking about, see, for some reason, this, this one is here. Ah, it's for fun awesome. So it doesn't really, uh, it doesn't use the page. Fun awesome is just for the fonts that we are using with fun awesome package. Uh, but the rest is um, either um, font or styling. Styling goes to the top, fonts go to the top, and any scripts that are not associated, that are not reliant on the web, web page that you're building down here. Okay, so now we can refresh and I can see that, okay, this has changed, this has changed, this has changed, I'm happy with the base. And now if I wanna, if I wanna change our uh, content in here, I go to index, and do exactly the same thing. Uh, I just go from top to bottom and look for the text that I'm uh, that I'm changing that I want to change. So just see, um, just look at this structure here. They nicely split those components into uh, in in this code. So you have a comment at the top, and then some either header for mastheads, and then section for each section. So it's very easy to to navigate. There's another section. And there is the last section here, contact section. So we have four different sections. The only, uh, the first section here is a header and the rest of them are in the tag called section, which makes it very easy to, to see where the sections are. And then inside of them, there are different divisions. Uh, don't worry that you have so many divisions here. Uh, that's how HTML is built to look as nice as it does. Um, so this is the beauty of using Bootstrap template. You don't have to know exactly what to do in here, how to build this. You just need to know how to edit it. So how to find things and, and change them slightly. So we can change it to like, hello world, Jesus, world, save it, refresh, and we have hello world here. Um, then we go lower and I can see here, there is something called I um, tag. So there is a, a, some line here. So I think this is that line. And then there is some I, which is this star. And there is this another line here which is this line here, okay? So what if I wanna change the start? This is this font awesome thing. So if you Google font awesome symbols, icons, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. The, the free ones are um, in black and paid. The pro ones are grayed out. So if you're looking for, let's say, thumb up, thumbs up here, you just click on this and you copy this. So just by clicking on this, you copy the um, HTML and you can paste it here. Instead of that I tag that was here before, save and you should find it here. Okay, so that's how you replace those uh, icons that are um, are coming with this I tag. If you see fast, it, it means it's font awesome um, icon. Okay, and it works because because of this uh, font awesome thing here. Okay, we are using font awesome from that was set up for us before. It doesn't just work with uh, plain HTML. It wouldn't work if the, it wasn't set up for us by Bootstrap. Okay, so the rest is just text. So you, you find this text and you change it. Text, line, icon, we know how to do it. So these are a little bit more complex. So let's go there. So we are in our portfolio section. And now we can see here that it the indentation shows us where are the specific items. And also you have a comment that it's item six, five, 
four, three, two, one. So if you want to change the picture of the first one, let's say I wanted, wanted it to be a cake. And by the way, you have to have it in your static here somewhere in assets, images. And so this path here has to follow and be able to find something to put in there. If it's not there, if the picture is not there, then you can't, uh, you, you can't replace it. So let's change this first tile to cake. And after refreshing, I can see that it's cake as well. Okay, and if I click here, it's still a cabin because it's controlled somewhere else. And it is controlled, as you might remember, at the very top, at the very bottom there with the hidden content, the portfolio models. And portfolio model number one has a cabin still. It's still cabin in here. So if I change it to cake, now refresh and click again. Now I have, I have cake here, okay? So this is how you change those models. And if you wanna change the text of that model, so here is the log, log cabin. So again, in this hidden content somewhere here in the first model, and I'm looking for, okay, portfolio model number one, and I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, log cabin, it seems like this is the title. And it says here, that's the, that's the title of, the, of this model. So hello, save, and it does change, okay? So similarly, here we have this icon and we have some text here so if we replace this text to a smiley face it's gonna go and change this text to smiley face and i assume it's the same with the close window here okay if we change it to buy we can now go and refresh and see that it says buy and here it still says close window because each model is is done separately um okay so for this Okay, so let's say let's let's have a look at this one. Let's say we don't want to have that button. Re um, deleting stuff is easy as well. If we you find your about section, so that's the mast head, that's portfolio, that's about section here, and we need to scroll all the way to the bottom of it and look for a button. So free download. That's the text that we want to get rid of. So where's that text in? That's in some anchor, and then that's in a div. And here is our text saying that this is the button. So I suppose if I delete this whole thing, save it and refresh, it's gone. So that's how you delete stuff. Of course, the text you're, you're changing the same way as, uh, as I mentioned before. So this is the text here, basically. And then contact. Mm, well, I would leave that for now because this is a form. So that's the contact section. If you want to change the name, contact me. It's supposed to be it's here somewhere. That's the contact in the header, header two type uh, tag. And that's the icon. And then we have different inputs. Input is the HTML way of taking the input here. But we're going to leave it for now because um, that's we're going to use some some forms in the future, but not for now. Uh, that's uh, that's another topic. So I, I, I think it, I said enough. Um, you should be able, should be comfortable enough to change some bits and pieces now. And I think uh, what is much more important now is to continue working and getting some useful stuff in. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.